whenever we see anything that is not right, it is only fair if we are good followers to bring it to the table. And when they said the national chairman is inviting us for this, I agreed. I am standing here in my own honor as a distinguished senator who is also aspiring. And also, I'm here double to speak in respect of my distinguished colleagues, senators elect from the North Central geopolitical zone of this country. If we will recall, not too long ago, I'm very conscious of the fact that a man does not seek to have his integrity until when he displays what integrity means. I stood before the National Assembly Press Corps and said, I want to aspire for the leadership of the Senate, but with a habit. And what did I say that day? I said, looking at the secularity of this country, and looking at the permutation we, we, we took risk at doing, and it permitted, and we were successful, there are certain times we should not push our luck. And I said, if we have a competent, distinguished senator elect from anywhere, that is, because we have a president Muslim, we have a vice president Muslim, number one, two, at least the third person should be a Christian. I did not refer to any zone, but I said, as a distinguished elected senator. Be it as it is, I keep on that, and I still remain on that. As we are going, I had expected that the party will look at those who are very few, just, I think, uh, four of us or five of us declared interest. And I thought, in the wisdom of the party, they will invite just those five of us, which you can manage. If you can manage us like this after a decision has been proposed, decision has been reached, it will have been much easier if you sit us before that proposed decision is issued and said there can only be one leader and we all belong there and we are first among equals. The party didn't do that. The NWC had a meeting with Mr. President. I respect Mr. President. He's a target politician. President-elect, sorry. Mr. President-elect, Mr. President-elect, I take that correction, sir. Mr. President-elect is a politician. He knows it, and he knows every inch of it. And he will be able to listen to whatever and order like he can see the brain. Whatever anyone will tell him, he will only regain his own community. It's above the party. No one is above the nation. And we are practicing democracy. And democracy is government of the people, by the people, for the people. We have said this several times before now. That if we are to move forward in this country, we need to make some changes. The status quo cannot stand. And still, what we are complaining about, especially where we are talking about internal democracy, because even the issue of National Assembly is an issue of internal democracy. 
if we do not allow internal democracy to prosper, how do you expect it will prosper in the wider scope and in the context of Nigeria? It's, I'm not beclouded by ambition, but I'm beclouded by the fact that certain principles or certain ethics that we want to lay we are the ones saying it, and we don't act it. Are we building a nation where I, or my children, or my grandchildren, will come to be proud of? If I will say something today, and then tomorrow I will go back to the same place and say something different? I stand by my principles. That can be corrected. My senior colleagues, by virtue of politics, they are ahead of me. And age. And age, maybe, maybe you. Uh, we may be in the same, or maybe I'll be older than, than him. Yes. So, they have spoken. And they have spoken their minds. And I have spoken my mind. The good thing to do about this, if I go to the second issue as a leader of North Central, I will then end up and sum it up with why I feel I should come before you people to express my feelings. We had a caucus meeting before and after the decision was taken. Before the decision was taken, when I was going to the press, I did not go to the press at National Assembly on my own. We took a decision. I told them my ambition, and the caucus agreed to it. Lead us, and if any office comes to North Central, it's going to go to you. And there and then, we agreed that we should make our intention known to Nigerians and to the elected senators so that they know what we want. Initially, we said, can we go for the Senate presidency? And I said, I have made a statement. And if we are really talking about the secularity of this country, then we should stand on that. And we stood on that, and we said, the deputy national, I mean, the uh, deputy Senate president. Now, after we've done that, We've started going now, we've started talking with our colleagues. We were hearing it as a rumors, not until my brother came on air and that gave us a blow. That gave us a blow. And we feel I would have always we have always been the victims, not central. And when you look at the permutation, if you are looking at us, uh, reward every democracy comes to the and we talk of building a coalition that will be strong. The moment you said you will center that structure of who and who, that structure will be very different. We should make it it's an institution. Our geographical settings have become like institutions. Because if you bring it to North Central and you decide that I'm not giving Niger, I will give Kwara. The man in Niger will not shout. Because you have already said it. But the situation where it is not done that way, and because of the mutual respect. And the kind of integrity you look at your leaders at it. And you said, let me accept. They said, injustice to one is injustice to all. I will have expected my brothers from the network to stood against the system and help the leadership by saying this from the tradition, what we've been doing from 1999 to date, let's. Peaceful at home in this thing.
is not done that way. I have seen a situation where one zone has the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, the, the, the National Security Advisor, the Chief of Staff to the President, the President of the Senate. The road didn't come down. This who we have, Deputy Senate President, is taken away. We will abide by the party, but the party have to put in mind that it's a voluntary thing we are doing. It's voluntary. Membership of the party is voluntary. But my principles and our principles are not voluntary. It's what we have built. And we can stand by that. These injustices need to be corrected. We have six geopolitical zones. The president is from Southwest. We have the vice president from North. We have the office of deputy senate, I mean, uh, president of the senate, deputy senate president, speaker, and deputy speaker. It is only fair. With four geopolitical zones, you throw. If you say you don't want to even do any permutation based on the fact that it is all an in-house thing, it's a family affair. Put it in the basket like what FIFA used to do. And let you leaders pick one one and you open. And we said this is justice. Anything short of that, I think we have been shortchanged. We can have all the ministers who are talking about politics. I'm going to go back to my people and they will ask me when they did not... I saw even what happened yesterday. When people are calling, who is talking for us? Who is talking about this in a government from Ondo? Talking about it. Where are our leaders? Today, by the grace of God, God has lifted us to a position that I will stand before the National Chairman, National Secretary, National Working Committee members to be able to voice the mind of those that will not be able to talk about.